For years, Santa Monica has had a problem that can't seem to be fixed. In Santa Monica, which is a city and is rather well developed, uh, it means that there is a finite and one would say limited number of athletic facilities for the number of people who want to use them. As you know, Santa Monica is eight square miles. It's very dense. It's fully built out. So there's very few opportunities to really create brand new space. Santa Monica is very protective of its open space and its park space. And in fact, it has enough groups to fill all of its space all of the time. The fields don't get a rest. To help with negotiations about field space, Santa Monica Rex and Parks created the Field Space Advisory Council. One of its main functions is for groups to get together and work out issues. And it's really been working well so that when a group gets a permit and they may not need all of their space at certain times, or if one group is having a tournament, they may talk to another one and say, can we use some of your time? That has helped relieve some of the, the pressure and the issues. I'm sure that there's people that get disgruntled when they don't get everything they want. And that's the purpose of that advisory committee, to really work together as groups to kind of balance things out. And the city has stepped in by planning to add a field in the Civic Center parking lot and change Samuel High's football field to field turf. In the past, we've gone back and forth with the use of our fields, making them available. Uh, but what we found was that we overuse our fields just in the use of the school. There's this much field space for all of those students. They have football in the fall, they have soccer in the midseason, and then they have baseball in the spring. Those practice times run till I believe at least six o'clock. By changing the field, the football field here at Samuel High into a synthetic field, we hope to open up where the plan is to open it up for additional use by both youth and adult groups. It was determined that in order for the city to give money to the school district under that, they'd have to get something in return. So they just recently entered into an agreement for the, the artificial turf for the uh, high school is going to free up 36 hours of time that can go to the city. You know, we're signing agreements that, that go on for decades. And uh, both elected bodies need to feel that they're doing their due diligence. And those of us who are staff members are working hard to make sure that it is covered. We haven't been just saying, okay, we're going to live with what we had. We have taken steps to increase the supply over time. Kerry said the demand for sports will only increase. He said the Field Sports Advisory Council was told the addition of one more sports field could double the number of athletes that want to use it. No matter what we do, it's never going to be an issue that can be resolved. It's just a question of trying to minimize the impact. And whenever the city has tried something to solve it, other problems seem to come up. There's now year-round soccer. There is year-round baseball, year-round softball. And so everybody is competing for space every season. The city has priority sports for their main season. Making sports 9, 10, 11 months long instead of three months long has put more pressure on field use. We've just got a very active community and they love to be in organized sports. And it's always been that way and it continues to be that way. To me, the most important thing is you can't always solve everything immediately, but if everyone is aware of the, the stakeholders, the school district, Santa Monica College and the city continue to cooperate, there was a time they absolutely didn't. Now I think they're doing a good job, and I think that's really the, the key to, to make this work. For the Santa Monica Mirror, I'm Spencer Lee.